Australian author, TV personality and poet Clive James has died in England aged 80. He had been diagnosed with two terminal illnesses back in 2010, leukaemia and emphysema, and has been somewhat jokingly telling the world of his impending death ever since. Having lived in England since 1961, he has been host of TV programs such as The Clive James Show, Clive James on Television and Saturday Night Clive, known for his dry humour and insightful reviews. According to a statement issued by his family, he died at his home in Cambridge on Sunday the 24th of November 2019, surrounded by his family and books. A private funeral was held in the chapel at Pembroke College in Cambridge on Wednesday the 27th of November. According to the statement, Clive died almost 10 years after his first terminal diagnosis and one month after he laid down his pen for the last time. He endured his ever-multiplying illnesses with patience and good humour, knowing until the last moment that he had experienced more than his fair share of this great, good world. James first revealed the news of his illness back in May 2011, 15 months after his diagnosis, where he had to write to the Australian Literary Review to explain why he couldn't write for them. In June 2012, he told the BBC, I'm getting near the end. I'm a man who is approaching his terminus. Four years later, in 2016, he admitted he was highly embarrassed to still be alive. In classic James style, Clive penned his own obituary and published it on his website, saying, It would be cheaper than anything most newspapers are likely to have in the freezer. I will keep updating it until they carry me to the slab, during which journey I will try to give details of my final medication. James has said that his greatest passion was for poetry, having published five collections of verse. Writing song lyrics is my favourite form of writing anything, he told The Guardian back in 2008. Stephen Fry paid tribute to James on Twitter, writing, Clive James and Jonathan Miller, two heroes of mine growing up, each so wildly and profusely gifted in so many directions. Very sorry to think they're not in this world anymore. And I just heard that Gary Rhodes has been snatched from us too. How very sad. James is survived by his wife Prue Shaw, whom he married in 1968, and their two daughters, Clarewen and Lucinda. He was made a member of the Order of Australia in 1992 and was awarded a special award for lifetime achievement by BAFTA in 2015. I'd like to finish with an excerpt from James's poem, Japanese Maple. My daughter's choice, the maple tree is new. Come autumn and its leaves will turn to flame. What I must do is live to see that. That will end the game. For me, though life continues all the same. Filling the double doors to bathe my eyes. A final flood of colours will live on as my mind dies. Burned by my vision of a world that shone so brightly at the last and then was gone. <laughs>